What happened to Earth after the dinosaurs went extinct? Imagine a world in total chaos, where life has to start all over again from scratch. Today we're diving into the incredible story of how Earth transformed after that massive asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs. We'll explore the rise of new life forms, the drastic changes in climate and geography, and how our planet slowly rebuilt itself over millions of years. Understanding what happened after the dinosaurs is not just fascinating, it's crucial for grasping the history of our planet. This period set the stage for the evolution of the mammals, including our own ancestors, and shaped the ecosystems we see today. So, let's journey back in time and uncover the secrets of a world reborn. About 66 million years ago, a colossal asteroid, roughly 10 kilometers wide, hurtled towards Earth. This wasn't just any rock, its impact was catastrophic. When it struck the Yucatan Peninsula in what is now Mexico, it released energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. The impact created a crater over 150 kilometers wide and sent shockwaves rippling around the globe. The immediate aftermath was nothing short of apocalyptic. The collision ignited wildfires that raged across continents, sending plumes of ash and soot into the sky. Massive tsunamis surged inland, devastating coastlines. Perhaps the most profound effect was the nuclear winter that followed. Dust and particles filled the atmosphere, blocking out sunlight and plunging the earth into darkness. Temperatures plummeted and photosynthesis ground to a halt, leading to a massive collapse in the food chain. In this dire new world, survival was incredibly tough. Large dinosaurs, who once ruled the land, couldn't adapt to the drastic changes and perished. But not all life forms met this fate. Some species, like small mammals, birds, and certain reptiles, managed to survive. Their smaller size and adaptable nature gave them an edge. These survivors inherited a drastically changed planet, setting the stage for the next chapter in Earth's history. After the dust settled, the Paleocene Epoch began, around 66 million years ago. This period marked a fresh start for life on Earth. With the dinosaurs gone, new opportunities arose for the survivors to fill the ecological niches left behind. It was a time of renewal and evolution, as the planet slowly recovered from the impact of the asteroid. The Paleocene saw the rise of new plant and animal life. Dense forests began to flourish, dominated by flowering plants, ferns, and palm trees. These lush environments provided habitats for the animals that managed to survive the cataclysm. Mammals, which had been relatively small and insignificant during the age of dinosaurs, started to diversify and grow in size. Early primates, small rodents, and hoofed mammals roamed the forests and plains. Birds, the descendants of certain dinosaur species, also began to diversify and spread across the globe. During the Paleocene, the climate was generally warm and humid, much like a greenhouse world. There were no polar ice caps, and the sea levels were higher, resulting in widespread shallow seas. The continents were still moving, but they were closer together than they are today. This warm and stable climate provided an ideal environment for the rapid evolution and expansion of new life forms. Over time, the recovery and growth of these ecosystems set the stage for the next major epoch in Earth's history, the Eocene. With the dinosaurs out of the picture, mammals seized the opportunity to diversify and fill the ecological gaps. No longer small and nocturnal to avoid predatory dinosaurs, mammals began to evolve in fascinating ways. They started to grow larger, experiment with different forms, and adapt to various environments. This was a crucial time for mammalian evolution, setting the stage for the incredible variety of species we see today. Among the early mammal species that emerged were the multi-tuberculates, which resembled rodents and thrived on seeds and nuts. Another notable group was the condylarths, which were some of the first hoofed mammals and ancestors to modern-day ungulates, like cows and deer. Then there were the early primates, small tree-dwelling creatures that would eventually lead to humans. These species, with their diverse diets and habitats, were pioneers in their respective ecological niches. This period was a textbook example of adaptive radiation, where a single lineage rapidly diversifies into a wide range of forms. As mammals spread into new environments and exploited different resources, they evolved unique adaptations to survive and thrive. For instance, 
Some developed better senses for hunting, others evolved specialized teeth for grinding plants, and many adapted to arboreal lifestyles in the dense forests. This explosion of diversity not only ensured the survival of mammals, but also paved the way for future evolutionary success. Next up, we enter the Eocene Epoch, around 56 million years ago. This era was a hotbed of evolutionary activity. The Eocene saw the continued evolution of mammals, with many new species emerging and adapting to their environments. Early forms of many modern mammals, including horses, bats, and whales, made their debut during this time. It was a period of incredible transformation and diversification, laying down the roots for the animal kingdom we know today. During the Eocene, significant evolutionary changes were happening across the board. Mammals grew larger and more specialized. For instance, the first true primates appeared, small and agile, living in the treetops. Herbivores began to diversify with creatures like early horses, which were much smaller than today's versions. Carnivores also evolved, with some of the first ancestors of modern-day dogs and cats starting to prowl the landscapes. This era marked the beginning of many familiar life forms. The climate of the Eocene was quite different from what we experience today. It was generally warmer, with tropical conditions extending into higher latitudes. This led to the development of lush forests and widespread wetlands, creating diverse and rich ecosystems. However, there were also periods of significant climate change, including warming events that dramatically impacted life on Earth. These shifts played a crucial role in shaping the evolution of species and the formation of modern ecosystems. It was a time of dynamic environmental change that profoundly influenced the course of life on our planet. As we move further along in Earth's timeline, we come to one of the most fascinating developments, the emergence of primates. During the Eocene Epoch, around 56 million years ago, the first true primates started to appear. These early primates were small, agile creatures, living primarily in the trees. They had evolved from earlier mammalian ancestors and began to develop unique characteristics that set them apart. These early primates exhibited several key traits that would eventually be passed down to their human descendants. They had larger brains relative to their body size, which allowed for greater cognitive abilities. Their eyes were positioned more forward on their faces, providing better depth perception, an essential trait for life in the trees. They also had grasping hands and feet with opposable thumbs, enabling them to hold onto branches and manipulate objects. These traits were crucial for their survival and laid the foundation for the evolution of more complex behaviors. In their environments, early primates began to play significant ecological roles. They were primarily frugivores, meaning they ate a lot of fruit, which helped in the dispersal of seeds and the propagation of plant life. By moving through the trees and across different areas, they also played a role in maintaining the health of their ecosystems. Their agility and adaptability allowed them to occupy various ecological niches, from dense forests to more open woodland areas. The evolution and success of these early primates were pivotal steps in the grand story of life on Earth, eventually leading to the diverse array of primate species we see today, including our own ancestors. The extinction of the dinosaurs and the subsequent rise of mammals set the stage for the evolution of modern life as we know it. Without the dominant presence of dinosaurs, other forms of life had the opportunity to evolve and diversify. This period saw an explosion of new species and ecosystems, each adapting to the changing environment in unique ways. The groundwork laid during this time was crucial for the development of the diverse and complex forms of life that populate our planet today. Understanding this post-dinosaur era is particularly important when it comes to human ancestry. The evolutionary pathways that began in the aftermath of the dinosaur's extinction eventually led to the emergence of early primates, and much later, humans. By studying these periods, scientists can trace the lineage of modern humans back to these early mammals and gain insights into the traits and behaviors that have been passed down through millions of years of evolution. It's fascinating to think that the survival and adaptation strategies developed by our distant ancestors still influence us today. The changes that occurred after the dinosaur's extinction continue to have a profound impact on today's ecosystems and biodiversity. 
the adaptive radiation of mammals and other species during these epochs created a web of life that forms the foundation of modern ecosystems. The interactions between species, the development of various ecological niches, and the ongoing processes of evolution all stem from this pivotal period in Earth's history. By understanding these historical changes, we can better appreciate the complexity and resilience of life on our planet and recognize the importance of preserving biodiversity for future generations. In this video, we explored the incredible transformation of Earth after the extinction of the dinosaurs. We delved into the catastrophic impact event, the rise of new life during the Paleocene and Eocene epochs, the evolution of mammals, and the emergence of early primates. We also reflected on how these changes have shaped modern life, human ancestry, and today's ecosystems. Now here's a thought-provoking question for you. What do you think the world would be like if dinosaurs had never gone extinct? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.